The deep ocean is a realm of crushing pressure and perpetual darkness. Here, silent titans of steel, submarines, play a deadly game of cat and mouse. These unseen predators glide through the abyss, hunting and striking with devastating force. Detection means vulnerability. A single sonar ping can betray a submarine's position. Submarine technology is shrouded in secrecy, with nations guarding their advancements closely. The US, Russia, and now China push the limits of undersea warfare. Inside, crews operate under constant stress, analyzing every blip, friend, foe, or deception. Torpedoes have evolved into sophisticated guided missiles of the deep. The future of naval dominance may be decided in these silent, sunless depths. Recent reports point to a major development. China is testing a new torpedo dubbed the Dragonfish. This weapon combines two powerful technologies, supercavitation for speed and artificial intelligence for advanced guidance. If accurate, China may soon possess a torpedo that is both exceptionally fast and remarkably smart. Supercavitation allows the torpedo to travel at speeds previously thought unattainable, flying within a gas bubble to reduce drag. The AI component processes complex sonar data in real time, making sophisticated targeting decisions. It can potentially distinguish between real enemy submarines and decoys. Details are scarce, but technical papers and satellite imagery suggest a dedicated Chinese effort. The goal, a weapon that rapidly closes the distance to its target and resists countermeasures. For submarine commanders, this means shorter wait times and a higher probability of a successful hit. A torpedo traveling at hundreds of knots, guided by AI, presents a formidable threat. It could neutralize enemy submarines before they have a chance to react. This weapon is a clear signal of China's ambitions. Submarine warfare has always been about stealth and surprise. A weapon that reduces reaction times could shift the advantage significantly. The Dragonfish, if it lives up to its promise, is more than hardware. It's a statement of technological prowess. The world's navies are watching closely. The rules of underwater combat may be about to change. Supercavitation is the secret behind the Dragonfish's speed. Normally, water's density creates immense drag, limiting how fast objects can travel underwater. Supercavitating torpedoes create a gas bubble around themselves, drastically reducing friction. The torpedo essentially flies underwater, riding within this bubble. Achieving supercavitation requires a specially shaped nose and vented gases to maintain the bubble. Only the nose and small control surfaces touch the water, enabling extreme velocities. The Soviet Union pioneered this tech with the Shkval torpedo in the 1970s, reaching over 200 knots. Early supercavitating torpedoes were fast but had major drawbacks. They were noisy, hard to steer, and lacked guidance. China's reported advancement aims to overcome these issues. By integrating AI, they hope to provide sophisticated guidance despite the noisy environment. Advanced control mechanisms may allow for better maneuverability without collapsing the gas bubble. If China combines true supercavitating speed with effective AI guidance, it's a substantial breakthrough. This would transform the torpedo from a fast but dumb weapon into a fearsome, intelligent missile. Naval experts are watching for signs of this leap. The potential to outpace and outthink enemy defenses is game-changing. Supercavitation is no longer just about speed, it's about smart speed. The underwater arms race is entering a new phase. The stakes have never been higher. The AI in China's new torpedo is a game-changer. Unlike older models, it doesn't just follow a set path, it adapts and thinks. Its main job is to analyze complex sonar data, even in chaotic underwater combat. Modern decoys can fool traditional torpedoes, but AI learns to see through these tricks. By identifying real targets, the AI boosts the torpedo's kill probability. This autonomy means less reliance on remote guidance, crucial underwater. The underwater battlefield is about to get much smarter. News of China's AI supercavitating torpedo comes from a mix of research papers, satellite imagery, and defense analysis. Chinese scientists have published on high-speed underwater propulsion and AI-based target recognition. Naval analysts track increased testing activity and unusual vessel movements near known weapons test ranges. The rapid expansion of China's navy suggests a strong drive for technological breakthroughs. Defense journals and think tanks highlight China's focus on advanced torpedoes as part of its anti-access and area denial strategy. This weapon fits perfectly into that doctrine, deterring foreign naval forces from operating near China's interests. Some claims may be exaggerated but the consistent theme is clear. 
China is making serious progress. The integration of AI with supercavitating technology is a major leap. Even if the final weapon falls short of the most ambitious claims, it will still be highly potent. The focus on AI guidance signals a shift towards smarter underwater munitions. The world is watching China's next move. China's new torpedo enters a global competition in underwater weapons. Russia's Shkval was the first supercavitating torpedo, blazingly fast but unguided and noisy. The US Mark 48 ADCAP is slower but highly intelligent, with advanced sonar and guidance. The US prioritizes precision and stealth over raw speed. China's Dragonfish aims to combine the best of both, the Shkval's speed and the Mark 48's intelligence, enhanced by AI. If successful, it would let Chinese submarines strike quickly, giving targets minimal time to react. The AI increases the chance of a hit against agile, well-defended targets. This could surpass both the Shkval and current Western torpedoes in certain scenarios. Other nations are also developing advanced torpedoes, but China is pushing hardest on combining supercavitation with AI. The trend is clear. Nations seek disruptive technologies to counter established naval powers. A super-fast, smart torpedo is exactly that kind of game-changer. It challenges existing defenses and tactics. The underwater arms race is accelerating. Every new weapon shifts the balance. The next breakthrough could come from anywhere, but right now, all eyes are on China. The future of undersea warfare is up for grabs. The contest is just beginning. An operational AI-powered supercavitating torpedo could reshape naval power, especially in the Western Pacific. Submarines are key for power projection and sea denial. A weapon that boosts Chinese submarine lethality threatens surface warships and other subs, including U.S. aircraft carriers. The short reaction time makes defending high-value assets much harder. This technology strengthens China's anti-access strategy, making contested waters more dangerous for adversaries. The psychological impact is significant. Uncertainty about such a weapon acts as a deterrent. Naval commanders must assume Chinese subs might carry these torpedoes, forcing changes in tactics and risk assessment. This alone is a strategic gain for China. The development will spur a new underwater arms race. Other powers will rush to develop their own supercavitating torpedoes and countermeasures. The cycle of innovation and counter-innovation continues. China's new torpedo is the latest move in a high-stakes game. The balance of power is shifting beneath the waves. Despite its promise, China's AI supercavitating torpedo faces major challenges. The underwater environment is harsh and unpredictable. What works in tests may fail in combat. Maintaining a stable cavitation bubble while guiding the weapon with AI is complex. Countermeasures will evolve, with adversaries developing smarter decoys and jamming techniques. The cat and mouse game of electronic warfare extends underwater. No weapon is unbeatable for long. The torpedo's effectiveness depends on how quickly its AI can adapt. There are also ethical concerns. Entrusting AI with lethal decisions raises serious questions. Mistakes could lead to unintended escalation or civilian casualties. The cost and complexity of these systems may limit widespread deployment. Integrating them into the fleet and training crews will be a major undertaking. Resource constraints could restrict their use to elite units or high-value targets. Practical realities will shape the true impact of this technology. The future of AI weaponry is as uncertain as it is promising. China's AI-powered supercavitating torpedo marks a new era in submarine warfare. It highlights the global trend of integrating AI into military systems. If it performs as promised, it could dramatically shorten engagement times and challenge existing naval doctrines. Rival nations will accelerate their own research into high-speed AI-driven weapons and countermeasures. The underwater battle space will become even more complex and demanding. Stealth, speed, and intelligence will define next-generation submarine warfare. The broader strategic question, will this lead to greater instability or new forms of deterrence? As AI takes a larger role, robust protocols and human accountability are critical. The international community must address the risks of an uncontrolled underwater arms race. Technological superiority at sea is never permanent. It's a shifting landscape. The dragonfish's true impact will depend on its reliability, the responses it provokes, and evolving naval doctrines. The ocean depths remain a hidden arena of competition. The silent hunt continues, now with an intelligent new predator.